Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. One setting that can free up some much needed CPU headroom, not to mention a couple extra FPS. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. The setting we will be covering today is called Core Isolation. Now, depending on your scenario, you may want core isolation memory integrity to be on or off. For instance, since the feature can affect performance, it is ideal to switch this off when you want to use your PC for gaming. But if your computer is strictly for business, you may want to turn this on to make it more secure. So what is core isolation? This is a security measure that protects system processes on Windows from malware by keeping them separate from the operating system and its devices. Windows uses virtualization to make this happen. Memory integrity, which is part of core isolation, only separates high security processes from the rest, preventing malware from accessing them during an attack. So in a nutshell, core isolation memory integrity helps prevent your PC against malware attacks by separating some of the high security processes from the rest. This will also decrease our CPU performance because of all of this going on in the background. Now, if you're someone like me that has a pretty sophisticated antivirus already on my system, then I'm not too concerned with core isolation and any malware attacks on my PC. If you would like to know more about core isolation, I will leave a link to this website as well as another website down below in the description. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoy today's content, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Before I go over how to turn on and off core isolation, I want to give you some before and after shots in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I had my buddy Dave do this on his system because apparently on my system, one of my USBs is preventing my core isolation from being turned on, which I'll show you here in a second. Now, please keep in mind that everyone's system is different and your results will vary. But please let me know down below in the comments what your results are and your system specs this will probably help some people out. So now that you have an idea on just how much performance you can gain from this little tweak, let me show you how to do that. To get to your core isolation menu, we need to go down to the search bar in your Windows. Now this is going to apply to Windows 10 and Windows 11. You will then type core isolation and you will see the core isolation system settings has appeared at the top. We'll left click there. Once here, you will see the memory integrity option at the very top of the core isolation menu. And like I said earlier, if I try to turn this on, I have some incompatible drivers that is preventing me from actually turning this option on. So that's why I had my buddy Dave do this so that I can give you some before and after shots. Now I would say probably 90 to 99% of everyone that's watching this video, your slider is going to be in the on position. To gain that extra CPU headroom, turn that memory integrity off. You will then be most likely prompted to restart your system, spawn into Microsoft Flight Simulator, and enjoy your new performance bump. Let me know how this affected your gameplay down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all of my Flight Simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.